How to read a journal article. Step-by-step -step guide. Number one is to update oneself with progress in a particular specialty and field of study. Number two is to find out a solution for a specific problem could be diagnostic, tests or methods, or therapeutic, medical or surgical. Number three is to know about causation, clinical features, and course of a disorder or disease. Number four is to understand certain fundamental aspects like pathophysiology. Number five is to get an idea for carrying out a research work. Number six is the article has been assigned to be read, for example by an instructor to a postgraduate student. Types of articles published in a journal. In general, scientific literature can be primary or secondary. Reports of original research form the primary literature, the core of scientific publications. The primary literature includes original research articles, surveys, case reports, case series, conference proceedings, and abstract editorial, correspondence or letter to the editor. Secondary literature includes review articles, narrative review, systematic reviews, meta-analysis, book reviews, guidelines, commentary, books, editorials, practice guidelines, and other forms of publication in which original research information is reviewed. An article published in a peer-reviewed journal is more valued than one which is not. Structure of journal research article title. The title is self-explanatory and the easiest element to identify. Abstract. The abstract is unique to journal articles. This is a brief, one-paragraph overview of the article. The abstract is designed to help you to know whether the journal article is valuable for you to read or not. The abstract is usually on the first page of the piece, always before the introduction. You are likely to find it indented underneath the title. Introduction. The introduction also gives an overview of the piece. While the abstract explains the key arguments of the piece, the introduction is usually used to give context and a rationale to the piece. It usually also signposts what will be said in each section of the article. Literature review or theoretical framework The literature review summarizes and analyzes previous research on the topic that the author is reporting on. This is an important section for showing readers what is already known about the topic and how the study expands on existing knowledge by introducing new ideas and information that hasn't been discovered before. Methodology Methodologies are important for providing the recipe on how the research took place. The methodology answers the question, how did you reach your conclusions? This is what distinguishes research from hypothesis. Logic and reason are required in order to establish knowledge within academic research. The methodology should therefore demonstrate the logic used to reach the conclusion. Drew, Hardman and Hospital, 2008, page 18. Findings The findings section outlines what the study found out. It is often separated into themes, outlining some of the key ideas that have emerged out of the research project. This is where you finally find out what the authors actually discovered through their project. It is usually quite detailed, taking readers through the findings step by step. Discussion or conclusion The conclusion will sum up the findings and explain how and why the findings are important, relevant or interesting. It may explain what the implications of the findings are for practitioners, policymakers or researchers. Schematic diagram of first step in selecting an article to read. The schematic diagram will help you to decide the type of article to select. This flowchart is meant for one who has a specific intent of choosing a particular type of article and not for one who intends to browse through a journal. Decision-making flowchart. Decide whether to read the selected article or not. In step one, 
is the title related to the topic that I am looking for? Does it have the keywords which I have in mind? If yes then proceed to read the abstract or summary or conclusion. Never start reading an article from the beginning to the end. It is better to begin by identifying the conclusions of the study by reading the title and abstract. Clear-cut aims and objectives, well-defined research hypothesis, and are the conclusion precise. Is the above useful or relevant to what I am looking for? If yes the read the entire article otherwise skip the article and go to next. In step 1 if answer is no then skip the article and go to next. List of questions in research article. Overall. Number 1 is what was the article type. Number 2 is what was the title. Number 3 is who were the authors. Introduction. Number 4 is what was the research problem. Number 5 is was there any mention of previous studies on this topic. Number six is was this study performed, the rationale. Number seven is what were the aims and objectives of the study. Number eight is what was the study, research, hypothesis. Number nine is how did the researcher attempt to answer the research question. Number ten is how was the sampling done. Number eleven is how were they grouped categorized. Number 12 is what were the inclusion criteria. Number 13 is what were the exclusion criteria. Number 14 is what procedures were followed. Number 15 is which variables were measured. Number 16 is what equipment or instruments were used for data collection. Were they appropriate? Number 17 is what statistical methods or tests were employed. Were they apt for evaluation? Results. Number 18 is what were the key findings. Number 19 is. Were all the subjects present in the beginning of the study accounted for at the end of the study? Number 20 is were the results reliable? Number 21 is were the results valid? Number 22 is which results were statistically significant? Number 23 is. Which results were statistically non-significant? Number 24 is. Were the tables or graphs easy to comprehend? Cited in the text. Discussion number 25 is did the results answer the research question? Number 26 is what were the author's interpretations of the data? Number 27 is was the analysis of the data relevant to the research question? Number 28 is how were these results different or similar when compared to other studies? Number 29 is what were the strengths of the study? Number 30 is what were the limitations of the study? Number 31 is were there any extrapolations of the findings beyond the range of data? Conclusions Number 32 is what were the conclusions? Number 33 is were the author's conclusions based upon reported data and analysis. Number 34 is were the conclusions reasonable and logical. Number 35 is will the results be useful in clinical practice or for further research. Number 36 is was the study worth doing. Number 37 is does the reader have any questions unanswered by the article. References. Number 38 is, were the references cited according to journal's requirement? Number 39 is, were all the citations correct? Number 40 is, were all the references cited in the text? PDF trick for reading and analyzing article. If you know PDF trick you can easily find question for your assignments easily by pressing Ctrl plus F button to find the required questions to search. After pressing Ctrl plus F button, you will write many words to search, such as research method or research technique or technique, research problem, issue or issues, problem or problems, objective, aim, goal, question, variable, hypothesis, sample size, etc.
In this way you can find many question and skim the rest of article. For some questions you need expertise like references format which is in ARPA, Harvard, MLA, Chicago, etc. And you have no idea. So, you can copy one references given in last of article and check in Google Scholar and check how Google Scholar automatically writes all one article reference in many format and you will easily compare all formats of Google Scholar with article references given in end by authors or check article journal references format online. So, it will help you. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.